Kensuke Tanabe has recently opened up a little bit about Metroid Prime Federation Force. He's revealed that Dark Samus' storyline is all said and done, and future Metroid games will focus on exploring other facets of the Metroid story. He specifically compares it to the Avengers, how each hero has their own movies for their backstories, and then they come together as a team. And, you know, you've got uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and all that stuff going on in the cinematic universe. But Federation Force teaches us about the Galactic Federation specifically, and he says there's more to learn about Silux, about the other hunters, so it's going to be interesting how the Metroid story unfolds from here. Yeah, you know, I think it would be cool to see the, the conflict between the Federation Force, or the, the Galactic Federation, <laughs> that is, and the Space Pirates fleshed out a little bit more. But at the same time, um, I feel like Fusion and Other M, the most recent 2D and the most recent 3D Metroid, were both um, a little more focused on finding out sort of the bad stuff that the Galactic Federation was doing and setting Samus up for a conflict with them. So I'd rather see Samus versus the Federation rather than get deeper into the, uh, the Federation versus the Space Pirates. Well, I mean, from a Metroid timeline perspective, it kind of makes sense because this would be up before all that gets revealed. Um, personally, I'm a little more concerned about the idea that they're going to have this whole team aspect of the story in the first place because... You know, fans haven't been too incredibly satisfied with the past games where Samus has teamed up with the Galactic Federation. And I think people are looking more forward to a return to form where you have Samus kind of going at it alone on her own adventure without all these NPC interruptions and Well, yeah, teammates. but to be fair, we've already established that people don't like this about Federation Force. Yeah. And I feel like it's such a radically different kind of game. I feel like, certainly from a lore perspective, what they're going for here is completely justified, I feel like. Yeah, I like the idea of it as like this expanded Metroid universe type of thing, but uh, the way he, that we're hearing about it, it sounds more like a setup for some other game, other story involving Samus and all these other events that are happening, mm -hmm. rather than these events just kind of being additions to the lore. Right. And as I mentioned before, you know, I'm a little concerned that if they're going to make this game have uh, a plot that's pretty relevant to the overall storyline of the series, then I don't know how many people are even going to hear that plot, because I don't know how many people are intending to buy this game on 3DS. So, right, because a spin-off of a series that already doesn't sell too great. Right, so if he wants this game to set up the events of the next major Metroid, then I feel like a lot of people are going to go into that game missing these uh, these clues that he wanted them to have in the storyline. Mm -hmm. Well, you could say the same thing about Other M, I guess. Uh, not only was that game a game that basically took the manga that no one read and shoved elements of it into a game, but it's also a game that not a lot of people avoided because of the, the bad press it got. I mean, I know it wound up selling a lot because it got discounted to, like, super bargain bin levels. But, you know, I think when Nintendo wants to tell a story, they're going to tell the story, and, and you're just going to have to, like, follow along or deal <laughs> with it, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Hello everybody, thank you for listening to this Nintendo Week Clip NWC. If you like what you hear, please subscribe to us here on YouTube for more highlights and discussion videos from Nintendo Week Podcast, or subscribe to us on iTunes for weekly breakdowns of all your Nintendo news, discussion segments on subjects, games, and more, and tons of other features. Thanks for listening, and we will see you tomorrow with another NWC.